I sit? No, as you sit down. Yes. It's going to be weird for you, I think. It's already weird for me. Why is it weird? I don't know, sit in front of a camera. You Look, don't have to do it if you don't want to. But no, it's fine, we'll do Just it. Just thought it might be fun if you want Let's to. Let's do it. If you get okay. on with it, then I have to think about it less. Okay, I have to do an intro though, and okay. that might be a bit awkward. So well, I'll just, just sit here awkwardly. Um, I have to check on the cake in six minutes. Okay, well, I'll just get started. Yeah, it's fine. Anyway, yes, we're making a cake. We're making a Valentine's Day cake because it's Valentine's Day, and we it don't is. actually get each other gifts or anything generally because. Because. Love. Bad at stuff. I was going to say because we love each other for the rest of the year as well and oh. randomly get each other flowers and gifts sometimes anyway, so... Yeah, that does happen. Yeah. <laughs> a very, two very different interpretations of why. <laughs> I didn't realise this. <laughs> which, which one is the correct answer? Leave a comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are going to be reacting to fan fiction and poetry and stuff like that that I wrote and made as an edgy teenager. So I've got some stuff from my dad's house. These oh, are the oh, things oh. we're going to be reacting to. It's a lot so I think we're just going to be opening them at random pages and stuff like that. Anyway, should we start with this one then? I think tiny book just... of whatever it is. Most of it is empty. Most of these notebooks are half to three quarters empty because I start stuff and then just get bored. Would you like to read it? I will read this. I will try to read this. this I don't remember bad. any of these, by um, the way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Cold December winters blow. I walk outside and see the snow. 40,000 years, it seems, before I woke up from my dreams. Never here will I see the way. The snow will gather in the day. It's good, good rhyming. <laughs> here the change is oh so small. I barely hear a sound at all. That's not how you spell hear in that sense. Yeah, I, I see that now. Okay, proofreading. <laughs> I was like 13 oh. and just writing in pen. <laughs> I like to lie awake and stare, bite me skin I think it was and supposed chew to say my hair. My. <laughs> yeah. Bite me skin. <laughs> bite me skin and chew me hair. No, it says my hair. It does say my hair. <laughs> Fine. I was getting carried away. Alas, the time has come to know that there will never be the snow. The morning sun has flooded me. Look out to see the evergreen trees. That doesn't work in that rhyming structure. No, but, but you did have to change pages, so I'll give you a pass. <laughs> I actually completely lost my train of thought between pages. No fluffy white has covered grass. Relatable. Has winter come, I let it pass. Though frosty days crackle near, the perfect day is far from here. That's the correct spelling of here this time. <laughs> Though in my dream again I fall, a distant twinkling voice does call. I'm getting bored of this to be honest. Mm. <laughs> I cannot hear, I cannot see, a cold ice wind blows round me. Blows around me would have been better, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm treading over the frozen ground, I know I wake to hear the sound. The bell chimed bright, but in my soul it does not snow, but I am cold. Is that was deliberate. I just, it, that, that flowed so weirdly at the end. I don't know. So what did you think of my poem? I'm not really sure what happened. Yeah, most people said that at the time, I remember. Oh, okay. It's just a bit of a ramble. Ha! <laughs> This is from when I was trying to be a sim and living as a sim and I was getting um, skill points in real life but apparently I didn't acquire any. That was <laughs> not something you followed through on very well. No, and I stick to that. Yeah, there's yeah, quite so a lot of stuff in here. I've never known you to follow through. So... Hold on, I haven't finished buying my nose. Alright, now that's why I cut it out, and also because I look ugly. <laughs> you look beautiful to me. Oh, thank you. What are, what's this now? Moon this Estates. Little story. Little, little story, I think. Let's nope. just read a couple of pages and see what you think. My name is Annabelle Thomas. My brother's name is Joshua. Yesterday he married Cindy, which was surprised... Uh, which... Uh, yesterday he married <laughs> Cindy, which surprised me a little, as the last time I saw them together was when I was eight and they were ten. Still, 
It was a beautiful wedding. I don't know how that impacts their wedding no. and what she thinks of them getting married. <laughs> but okay. There's a lot of jumping like, around. Even though here. I saw them when they were 10 years old, it was still a beautiful wedding. Ha related how. I, I don't even know how old they are when they got married or how long a time. 12, has passed. that's why it's weird. <laughs> it would be kind of weird. Especially for me, as I'd never seen. Oh, father. As happy as he was that day. The highlight of the evening was when Charlie asked me to dance in that hall of so many colours. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he kept grinning. It made me feel more alive than I have for years. Grinning. Nice. That, that well-known sexy face. That's uh, what got me <laughs> attracted to you. <laughs> that, that grin. Yeah. Then Joshua left me... Uh, left me? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> then Joshua let me in on a little secret. Everything will work out fine. It's going to be okay. The moon's reflection. I think this was just sort of supposed to be like um, a teaser for this story. Uh -huh. I guess that's why it says the moon's reflection at the end. It's like an advert for it. All right. I made loads of posters and adverts for stories that I never wrote. <laughs> No, uh, this is a separate story. Let's just read okay. a couple of pages of this and then go on to the next one. Crystal House. They clung to each other. They kissed. They danced in the rain. The nightmare was over. I think this is the last chapter of about, something. Talk about jumping up <laughs> I, I feel like I, I missed I the never, first part I never here. be bothered to write the actual story. I just wrote the bits that I wanted to. Yeah, I totally missed the, the, the intro to... What the hell? I already knew who the, all the characters were in my head, so I was like, and then this happened. But me, me the reason. Nothing, nothing on the other side, on either side. Context. Context. I didn't know I was writing for you. Suddenly, Max froze. Hildy froze too. Good name. Thanks. She didn't know why. <laughs> I don't know, it's just an interesting name. It's not one that you hear a lot of. Oh, I just don't remember any of them. <laughs> Hildy froze too. She didn't know why she had frozen, but she trusted Max with all her heart. She turned slowly, and her gaze fell upon the red table and the crystal ball of Su Lin, the fortune teller, the overseer, the last Sorry, of her kind. Is, uh, in hindsight, probably quite racist. Like, what sounds Chinesey? Su Lin. <laughs> I don't know if that's even an actual Chinese name. <laughs> you tried. I tried. I think I changed her name later on. She was one of my uh, main characters. Well, we get more description of her now. Her black hair was long and plaited. Or plated. Plaited. Plaited. Is that how you spell plaited? Cool. You need to read more. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't read much. Her eyes held ancient secrets and her skin was delicately painted. What does that mean? Like tattoos? Or just someone's attacked her with or finger makeup. paint. I don't know. I like to imagine that she's covered in paint. <laughs> someone's I'm not attacked just, her with like so paint. she's been at the at the fair, uh, the you know circus or the fair, and just had face paint put on. She's got like a maybe tiger face was, paint. Maybe she was supposed to look kind of like a geisha or something. Oh yeah, that could make more sense. Maybe. Which is not that Chinese. Actually doesn't make sense. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I think when I was quite young, I actually mixed up China and Japan quite often. Mm. A lot of adults still do that um, when they talk to me about the fact that I learnt Japanese. Right. Like, well, I have some Chinese that I need you to translate. Like, <laughs> Generic Asian. <laughs> yeah. Literally, up until her death, my babushka was always going on about, first of all, my Chinese boyfriend. He was Burmese, <laughs> Southeast Asian. And... The fact that I'd been to China and had learnt Chinese and all my Chinese books and stuff like that. Like, it's not the same! Have you ever been to China? Hildy... Il, what? Illusius. Now that's the name. That's a, that is a name. Illusius. They I, all have names like this, I think. I just wasn't, I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be something other than a name. <laughs> and I just wasn't sure how to read it. Well, there's a capital letter, so I assume it's her last name. I... <laughs> By the spelling in the other poem, I'm not taking anything for granted. Shut up, it was one <laughs> spelling mistake. Two spelling mistakes. Uh -huh. Hilde Illusius. Her voice was quiet yet powerful. That wasn't quiet or powerful, was it? I have seen your fate. It looks a little bit like late, I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> I have seen your late. You're late! <laughs> <laughs> I have seen your fate. Her name will be Lily. 
Rat's Crystal. Oh, these are all just ads for different stories I was going to do. Wait, but you called it Crystal House and then you put in Rat's Crystal at the... Like, I think what? I probably changed my mind halfway through between turning pages. Wow. Marks for consistency. Wow. <laughs> Usual Witch. Now that's a Usual. name. <laughs> that's a good name for a story. Let's just read the names, I guess. Usual Witch. Behind the Sun. Also known as Wolf Residence, oh, yeah. apparently. Behind the Sun. Well, I remember that character. She uses cards as like her magic power. Oh, like Gambit from the. Because that's so original. <laughs> yeah, that's that's literally Gambit from the X Men universe. I actually don't know that character or anything about X Men, oh. so it wasn't inspired by that. But there are loads of characters like that in yeah, all sorts of things. Also known as Feline Castle. I think her last name was Feline. Watch over me. Also known as Bale Castle. How many castles are there? Take. <laughs> Obsessed much. <laughs> Lifeline, also known as Marbinoy Court. What does what's that even mean? Maybe these are locations. Behind the Snake and Wolf, also known as Knight with a K. Cross Heart, also known as Cross Orchard. Okay. Yeah. Someone called Sime. That's an interesting looking name. That is. Sime looked glum. Hmm. Where did you come up with these ideas? From my head. What? I mean, wow. So there's a couple of things here written in pencil which is separate. Do you want to read a couple of pages okay, of this one? Okay, let's see what's going on. Stay calm for all... <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I didn't know you were going to be doing performance art. I Stay calm more interesting. for all that... Why did Why? I do that? <laughs> Why did you so do it was that? annoying me. <laughs> the more annoying when it's in your face. Well, I realise it's <laughs> me. Put it behind. Just hide it in there. <laughs> Stay calm. <laughs> right. For all that I shall write is the truth. Is it though? <laughs> These events didn't happen to me, but it is my duty to tell the story. There's a lot of crossing out going on here. Yeah, I did write in pencil, but apparently I didn't have a rubber. You just didn't <laughs> know where to find a rubber. <laughs> Joshua, she whispered. It's a racer for Americans, by the way. I'm not talking oh, yeah. about the other kind. <laughs> Active touch, yeah, yeah. I forget that. What? I can't use words. <laughs> this is not useful for this video. But I forget that YouTube is very, or the internet in general is very Americentric, so I need to yes. uh, tell Americans when it's this. a Britishism. <laughs> anyway. Sometimes I can't tell the difference. Mm. Joshua, she whispered. That was so, not a whisper. I, Joshua! Joshua! She whispered. <laughs> she whispered so quietly that her brother almost took it for the usual silence. Wow, that must be really quiet. Usual silence. I guess she was usually quite silent. Right. I don't know who is who they're talking about yet. We'll find out. Who they're talking about. Let's who I'm reading. talking about. <laughs> who are these people? What are you on about? <laughs> he turned and fixed his blue stare. I think it says stare. Hmm. On... Annabelle's face, oh. pausing on her usual... Unusual. Unusual. <laughs> pausing on her usual eyes. <laughs> As opposed to the ones that she keeps in the drawer. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the ones we're actually talking about. Pausing on her unusual eyes. Mm. One brown, one... smudged with orange... with what? Grey-blue. You've just gone blue. Blue... smudged with grey-blue. <laughs> Let's not read much of this one, it's a bit hard to read. Yeah. Joshua waited for the follow-up from her call, but she just walked away again. <laughs> what a bitch. Why though? <laughs> so harsh. <laughs> Leaving him alone in his dark, suffocating room. Definitely the kind of thing that I would do. George! Come back! Do you want to read more? Or do yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying this now because it's oh, going weird. I could sell this. It's I really good, don't apparently. No. Annabelle fell. Blood on her face. Right. What happened? Laughing? <laughs> oh my god, she is such an edgelord as well. <laughs> her long flaxen hair was clotted with white blood. White blood? Alright, her black dress, worn and also 
patched with blood. Interesting. White blood or what? <laughs> I don't blood. know. Stop <laughs> asking me these things. Something struck out at her. She crumpled under the blow, laughed and laughed. <sighs> this is dark. The laugh brought tears to Joshua's eyes. Was, was he the one hitting her or something? I have no... Babe, stop asking me. I don't know. I have no it, idea what's going on. <laughs> it, it was somehow... Inhuman. Inhuman. I thought it said into man. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> the laugh was into man. <laughs> he looked at her face. Which was scratched and bruised. bruised, but she couldn't see him. Darkness. It's a very no. It's not. It's a useful technique to acquire being able to force your eyes open while you sleep. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> oh, like the, the, the rapid change in subject. I need subject. to turn my phone to silent. Yes, you do. <laughs> I turned mine to silent. Oh, it's because I've been on film sets, I know how these things work. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> I'm on film sets. on national TV. It's true though. Oh, you're advancing your career, see? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joshua started up and almost fell out of bed. His breath made the window steam up, and he drew some faces on, on it, it to calm his nerves. It's really faded. They, they all, all smiled. Smiled. Oh. I suppose if he's drawn smiley faces, that's fine. He looked at his watch on the desk. Almost 12 o'clock. Why wasn't anybody up and about? Because it's midnight. I think it's or, during the day. Yeah, so you didn't make that obvious. Jesus, sorry. Well, I don't know. When things are this weird, he gazed at the empty street below. Where not even pigeons stirred. Oh, wow. Something Very caught empty. his eye. A window. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally... He's looking out of a window. Oh, well, that looks unusual on a street. Look, a, win <laughs> a window. To be fair, when I was recording my other video yesterday, hence why I'm wearing the same clothes as in that video. Dirty. Wear your clothes for more than one day. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't? When I was recording my video yesterday, then there, there's a bit I noticed while I was editing. So I was just reading the script, reading the script, and then just went. I was literally watching someone wash their windows through the window. Like, it was the most fascinating thing in the whole world. I was just sitting there editing, like, what are you doing? You're a fascinating human being. <laughs> Actually, maybe they I've were. always had a fascination with windows, evidently. This, yeah. It was just hovering in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was unusual. I know I get it. I mean, just, <laughs> not like in a wall. It was just hovering. So it's okay, as as they do, as if held up by the low clouds that had started to gather. Imagery. Okay, I can go with that. Joshua sprinted down the stairs and out into the street, not caring that he was wearing. wearing? Rather embarrassing pajamas <laughs> that a distant. Oh, I nearly misread Aunt. that. <laughs> Aunt. <laughs> Aunt. <laughs> Not the other Sent word. for Christmas, as it was evident that nobody was around. I mean, the fact he was. That's such a teenage thing to say. Oh, my pajamas are so embarrassing. My aunt sent them to me. <laughs> I'll tell you what would be more embarrassing if you just ran out into the street butt naked. Through the window, rocks glinted. Mm -hmm. Sand spattered on them from here and there. Interesting. Okay. A spray of clear water hit the window pane, and Joshua jumped back several feet. Wow, that's a jump. That's a strong jump. <laughs> a sign that looked as if. It should have pre presented. presented. There's no bean. It just says should have presented a place named. No, a place named. Re what? I don't know. A sign that looked as if it should have presented a place name. Oh, I Reed get it. A Red? sign that looked as if it should have had a place name on it. But it oh, doesn't. a sign that looked as if it should have presented a place name, Red, 
Annabelle. There we go. Punctuation is important. Yeah, you put the comma in totally the wrong place. <laughs> in handwritten letters, a flash of the recent nightmare came back to Joshua. I'm ready. You're reading this so badly. But That's I'm, okay. I'm trying my best. I wrote best. it very badly as well. So. And he opened the window without hesitation. All right. It looks like his hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Bad pajamas. No hat. I mean, what next? Well, you need to look like wee willy winky caps. Like oh! Nightcap, like Scrooge wore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrooge would have been better for maybe, me to recognise. Yeah, maybe Wee Willy about. Winky was a bit um, niche. I don't actually know who that is. It's a great story. Okay. He had a candle. And this isn't a great story? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Where was I? And he opened the window. With his hat on, that's right. Without <laughs> hesitation. <laughs> Sorry, with, without hesitation. Climbed awkwardly like me reading this story, through and stumbled onto bright white sand that marked the beginning of the world called... Annabelle. Annabelle. <laughs> also, I think the thing before was a nightmare. Um, this is what? super long, should we just leave it yeah, there and, maybe. and leave it for... Oh, okay, there's only a few pages left. Uh, go on to the next one. I mean, It's I have long to because I'm struggling afterwards. to read. <laughs> Quite a oh, fun film. Let's, let's read fun one of my word. comedy sketches first. Oh, this could be fun, okay. I mean, it how, should be as a comedy sketch. It's probably very much not. Yeah, I think, how how edgy is this going to be? Um, I was going through a phase of really liking Spike Milligan. I read all of his yeah, war bad. diaries and stuff, Spike and Milligan's I cool. really liked the way that he wrote. Um, yeah, Spike Milligan is cool. However, how about your approximation of fourteen-year-old approximation or thirteen-year-old? I'm not sure. Probably not quite. Um, <laughs> Oh, we've actually got like stage directions as well. I like this. So, teacher's death. That of sounds... course, because teenagers write about stuff like yeah. that because... Teachers be warned. <laughs> yeah. Like, no matter how nice your teacher is, like, they're a teacher. Ugh. <laughs> and of course they don't have lives or exist outside No, of even though my dad is a teacher <laughs> and was before I even wrote this, and like everyone in my family are teachers, I know that they have lives outside of the school. You make so much sense. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's, let's have a go. Enter schoolboy stage right into a classroom scene. Ta-da. Teacher. In fact, I feel like we should kind of split yeah. this between okay, us. Yeah, so I can be the like teacher. like a script reading. Okay. And you can be the, the student. So Aronson, good name. Yeah, I guess that this was old fashioned because again, Spike Milligan inspired and in the days when he was at school and um, his war diaries and stuff, people would refer to each other by their last names. I was going to say that sounds so like, like a last going, name. going old fashioned. Uh-huh. So I'll be the teacher. But there's quite a few students in this, I think. Oh, I'm going to be um, busy. <laughs> okay. What's that, Aronson? Dog tag, sir. Are you a dog? Yes, sir. You'll have some company now. How dare you? What, sir? How dare you? Is that the complete sentence? Stand in the corner. Where? In the corner. There are four of them, and only one of me, sir. Someone else now. Oh, is that another voice? You're outnumbered. Leave the room. Which one? My room. I'm not in your house, sir. Other voice. Oh. This is his house. No, it isn't, you silly bugger. <laughs> Hang on. I feel like I can deliver that line better. I'm not in your house, sir. This is his house! No it isn't, you silly bugger! <gasps> Gasp, that was stage direction. Should you I can see the Spike Milligan in this, silly bugger. <laughs> I like the fact you spelt it B-U-G-G-A as well. It's like bug, but with gar. <laughs> bugger! Bugger! Should I sit down, sir? Yes. Thank you, sir. He's sitting on your chair, sir. Christ! Where? Behind the science block! Exit Aronson at fast pace. Well, that's that. I'm now a different student oh. girl. What's what? That's what. What's that? Where? What? <laughs> Hold on. Are we missing a page? I'm missing a page! Oh no! <laughs> One, oh, two, sucks. they've even got numbers on them. And We're it's missing just... page three! Oh, no, there Found it! it. <laughs> There's a drawing on the back of that one. Why didn't you tell us that was there? You could see it. From <laughs> okay, and then I've got page four. Some time later. So who can tell me the answer to this question? Boy, he raises his hand. Yes, Mallet. Good name. Okay. You can, sir. Apart from me. God only knows. 
All right. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Sit down. I am sitting down. That was Aronson. Oh, yeah, back to Aronson. I feel like I need voices for these characters. Not you. <laughs> Standing up. Thank you, sir. I actually quite like that. <laughs> sit down. Oh, I'm sitting down. No, not you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Why would you want to sit, stand up in a classroom, though? Yeah, I'm enjoying this, though. That's a punishment, is to make the students stand up. <laughs> thank you, sir. Oh, my God, it's so bad. <laughs> anyway, we've got girl. a girl raising her hand. Girl. What is it? V- Verin. Jeez, that, that sounds like um, I mean, Erin, Mackenzie Crook's character. Erin is the name, but Verin. Oh, yeah, Va- Verin. Verin uh, from, from Britannia, Britannia, which is really good, by the Great way. Great show. Because I we were just talking about Mackenzie Crook. That's quite interesting. Premonition. Yeah, he's totally not going to see this, though, so it's fine. You never know. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. I keep not knowing. Right, what is it, Varen? I like cheese. Oh my god, at school I was totally actually that girl. <laughs> what? I used to go around telling people they smell like cheese and that I like cheese and pretending to be a train. Is that how you like hit that. on people? I didn't have any boyfriend or girlfriend until I was 18. No, neither do a lot of people. For some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Honestly, can, can you tell me why you have that thing? I love you. <laughs> what is it, Varen? I like cheese. What? I like cheese, sir. Where from? The moon, sir. What teacher would ask that? I like cheese. Where from? What? what? Because the, che- the teacher also must like cheese and wants to know where the good cheese is. Evidently, yeah, the moon. Okay, reading um, into this. How would you get there? Via space, sir. Much later, teacher lies on the floor, eyes closed, with people surrounding him. <laughs> just given up. Because <laughs> yeah. the students are just too weird. I have been a teacher and this is highly relatable now. <laughs> just lie down, like, no, no. <laughs> the children will probably just sit on you and, like, draw on your face. This is why you must not show weakness. <laughs> you must not show weakness as a teacher. No, definitely not. I was a weak teacher. Anyway, Aronson. What? Where? You're actually all of these characters. Oh, God. Oh. Aronson. Is he dead? Mallet. It's just his eyes. Aronson. What did they die of? Mallet. Looking at you all day. Ooh. Burn. (laughs) Verin. His mouth looks in a bad shape, too. Mallet. It's always been like that. Aronson. What did it die of? Verin. Overuse. Aronson. Shut up. (laughs) So what did you think of my comedy sketch inspired by Spike Milligan? It was better than your story. (laughs) It was slightly late. Even though, yeah, there wasn't a lot of leading or sense making, but that's fine. <laughs> I could barely sleep that night from the excitement of knowing that tomorrow my, my trees would be one step closer to bearing 500 bell fruit. Oh my god, the excitement! <laughs> it's, a, it's a palpable. Mm. Wow. Ooh, Chapter cha- 4 Jam and Jealousy! Ooh. <laughs> That sounds... Oh my god, I love that chapter here, That's dear. great. That is brilliant. I mean, that, that sounds like it should be like an Agatha Christie murder mystery. I was thinking more like Pride and Prejudice, but oh, really yeah, low budget. 